there are some jobs that you need to do which are perhaps effort intensive and not very time efficient. It's not something you can do quickly or easily. But generally speaking, we make power tools. We have power tools available to us to help us do these jobs. So it follows suit that getting your car up in the air to get your wheels off is now made a little bit easier thanks to the development of power tool kits like this one. This is a five in one car repair toolkit from Vivor. They sent this to me so I could try it out and let you see what it's all about. I have already tested it. I'm gonna walk you through it, let you know what it is, how it works, and let you know if I think it's worth the money. So before I go any further, I want to say a big thanks to Vivor for sending this across to me. This was sent for free for me to try out and honestly, I'm really impressed with what it is so far, but I'm gonna walk you through the kit. The first thing, before we even open this kit, there's some really nice features about this, apart from the fact this is a big, heavy, solid box. Uh, but not just that, on the back, this thing stands upright really well. You've got a warning triangle right there. So if you're gonna be working on your car in the dark at the side of the road, pull this out of the boot of your car, stand it upright, you've got a warning triangle right there. Also, might not be so clear on the, the video here, but these triangles, these darker black triangle bits here, these are actually hooked sections from hook and loop, you know, like Velcro. So the idea is that you can put this into the boot of your car and that will grip onto the carpet of your boot floor so it's not sliding around. This is quite heavy, it's quite weighty, but it just helps to keep it steady and settled in the boot of your car instead of sliding around and damaging other things or even your car. A really nice little feature, ready to go. Let's dive into the kit. I wanna show you all about this. Then we're gonna take it out to the car and give it a try. All right, let's dive into it. Let's pop the clips. Simple as that. Let's get rocking and rolling. This is what the kit looks like to you. So let's go over the bits and pieces in here and let you know what everything does. First of all, get a nice little pair of gloves there. Not fantastic that they're white. They're gonna get dirty very quickly, but it stops your hands from getting dirty. Nice little feature there. This is a hydraulic electric bottle jack, essentially. We'll talk more about this in just a second, but it's not only that, it's also an air pump. So we'll talk about that just in a minute. This is your impact wrench. This is for getting your wheel nuts off. You've got a couple of sockets here. Then on this end here, this is an emergency hammer. So this has the pointy end at one end there. That is the break glass end of the hammer. There's also a flat end. And also in the handle here is a blade, which is to help you cut seat belts if you happen to be trapped or you're trying to assist someone else who's trapped. It's a really useful little gadget there. Apart from the main tools, up in the top here, there is a couple of crocodile clips which connect to your battery terminals and what that gives you is a 12 volt socket. So if you cannot get access to the car's 12 volt socket, if it's damaged in any way, or you're using maybe a spare battery or something instead, you can hook this up to the positive and negative terminals and that will still give you connectivity. That will be for the connector here. This is the power cable that powers everything. As I said, it is a standard 12 volt socket idea. So this just plugs into that. And you've got this dedicated power connector on the end. This is designed to go into the back of these units. It only fits one way around thanks to the design there, so you can't get it wrong. Now, the jack itself, this is the thing that everybody wants to know about. Let me take this out and give you a closer look. Let that there, right. So this is the device. It's a beast. This is a heavy duty beast. If you look underneath here, this is why. Big metal plate. This is right underneath. The, the section that rises, this is what goes up to lift your car up. So this is very, very heavy metal, very heavy duty. The idea is that you're going to line this up underneath the car. You can see there's a couple of grooves here to line up with whatever mounting point you have on the bottom of the car. And you simply slide it into place and power it up. You've got a couple of power buttons down at the bottom here. So there's a couple of switches just to let you know. So this one here is a light switch. There is a light both right on the very front there. You can see it's a sort of projector type of light there. And then you also have a very small light here. This one is the one that points upwards 
to help you see where this is going to be lined up with. So it, you don't have to lift this up to shine up to the underside of your car. This one is already pointing up there for you. A really, really nice feature of that one. Then you've got the power buttons at the bottom here, and this is the gauge for the air pressure if you're happening to pump your car up. So uh, this button here is your light switch. Then this is a rocker switch, which goes between jack mode and air compressor mode. So you simply switch it however you need it. Then if you are in jack mode and you're ready to rise, you're ready to lift this up, you simply press the up button and it will go until you switch it off otherwise. And the same with the down function. Very, very simple and straightforward. For the air, if you're switching it into air compressor mode, around this side, you can see it actually says air there. And if you pop this little door, there is the hose for connecting to your tire. And you simply screw this end onto the valve of your tire and fire up the air pressure. So simply press that on. It's a case of on or off. And this gauge will show you the pressure that you are pumping up to or whatever pressure your tires at, but it doesn't just have to be tires. Let me just pop this back for a second here and I'll show you. This is a, just nice. It's nice and neat. Everything tidies away there. If you need any extra accessories in this side, pop this door open. You've got a few extra bits and pieces. Here are a couple of adapters to go on to inflatable devices. You've also got uh, in the top here, this one is for footballs, that type of thing. There's an Allen key. Not entirely sure what the Allen key is for because I haven't found a good use for it yet. There's also a couple of spare fuses in there just in case those go into the 12 volt plug just in case it blows everything on there. You've also got a couple of lights at the back here, blue and red. They blink. Hello, stay there. <laughs> they blink when it's running. They just both blink at the same time while it's running at the side. Again, it just brings attention to the fact that there's something going on. It provides a bit of light rather than just relying on the triangle that's on the back of this. Now, let's have a look in the rest of the box. Now, here's the impact gun, impact wrench, however you want to call it. This is actually a brilliant idea. I've been after one of these for a very long time. Very, very useful. So the power cable goes into the back there. Again, it only goes one way around because of the design of it. Very simple and straightforward. On the front end there, you have a quarter inch drive with uh, a small ball there. That's to help keep the socket in place. The sockets that comes with are two different sockets which are double sized. So the small one, the small end is 17 millimeters. The large end is 19 millimeters. On the big one, the small end is 21 millimeters. The large end is 23. It also does tell you on the side there so you get a, an idea. You can see exactly which one you need. So for my car, I would need the 19 millimeters. So that's the large end of this socket. And I simply line up and pop it in place like that. It's as simple as that. Because the little ball is there, it doesn't come off too easily. It's enough to keep it on when it's upside down. Straightforward. Now, there's a little light on the front there. That comes on as soon as it's receiving power from the power cable at the back. This helps you to work at night. Again, same situation as before. Helps you locate your, your sockets, your wheel nuts. Make sure you can see what you're doing. The switch on the top is a rocker switch again, but this time it's a sprung rocker switch. So it lifts off when you lift off. So it doesn't stay running all the time. It only works when you hold it down. On the left side of the, the device there, you'll see it's got L for loosen. That is your left side there. So pressing that will loosen your nuts. And the same on the other side, except it says T for tighten. So you don't get them wrong. Now the way this works, it's a very clever idea. There's a weighted flywheel in here. When you press and hold this, it will spin that up and it will build up energy. And then I'm not entirely sure how it works, but essentially it pops a clutch. It suddenly transfers all of that built up energy, that rotational energy and torque into the shaft there, which will spin the nut and help to break it free. I will demonstrate that for you outside in just a moment, but it's a very, very clever idea. So it's not an instant press it on and it's running and it's, it's hitting your, your wheel nuts really hard. So you have to press that and you wait. I've had good success with this so far. It's been really, really useful for me. So I'm going to take you guys out and show you how that works, but it is a smashing piece of kit. It's relatively weighty. It's hefty again, because of that weighted flywheel in there, but it's also brilliant that it's all in this kit ready to use, but enough talking. Let's take you guys outside now and we'll go and demonstrate how it all works. So here's a close look at the device here. 
plugging it into power, you can see that the lights come on, they blink at the back. That shows that you're receiving power. Switching on the lights, you can see there's the front projector style light and the top upward firing light for helping you to locate underneath the car. And those lights blink all the time as long as the device is receiving power. This is to raise the height of the jack. So you could come to a situation where you have a taller car like a truck or an SUV and you need the jack to be able to get a bit higher. So I'm going to show you here, this is just how high it goes. I am speeding this up so that you don't have to sit around for too long. But I can tell you it takes a minute and 10 seconds to get to its highest position from its lowest position and the same going down again. The maximum capacity of this jack is 5 tons, which is a lot, and it reaches from 155 millimeters to 450 millimeters for jacking height. You can adjust it by screwing that top section. And you can see it returns back down all by itself. It doesn't switch itself off, you will need to switch it off once it gets to the bottom. Now here I am using the jack I'm lining it up. I've switched on the light there to help me locate where my jacking point is. And now I'm just going to raise it slightly just to make sure it gets into the right position before I fully jack the car up. So you can see I'm just adjusting it a little bit more to make sure that I have a good solid jacking position. And then when I'm ready to go, simply press the button. At this point with a regular jack, you would start winding. But here I can, well, I can relax for a bit. This is the nice thing about this. You can see that the body is rising, but the wheel is not. I've stopped it there because what I'm going to do now is loosen off the wheel nuts. So I'm putting on the socket that's required for my size of wheel nuts. That is 19 millimeters. I'm taking the power cable out there and plugging it into the back of the wrench. And you'll see there's some light at the front there. That's because there's a small light on front there to help me see what I'm doing. And you can hear how it's working. It spins up to a speed and then releases all that torque. I simply have to leave my thumb on the button until it breaks those wheel nuts loose. There's no real major effort going into this. I don't need to get a long wheel brace. I don't need to get a breaker bar. I can simply leave it running there and it will break those nuts free. Here's an up close look at what goes on here. You'll be able to see the lettering on the side of the socket twist. It's a quarter inch drive as I mentioned before. Its maximum torque is 340 newton meters or 250 pounds foot of torque. That's a lot. It's really quite surprising how well this device works. Honestly, it is such a simple and straightforward thing to use. And you can use it for both loosening and tightening your wheel nuts. You can see there, I'm just leaving it on until I can make sure that those nuts don't move any further. I'm not taking the wheel completely off here. And you can see there, I've got a long reach breaker style wheel brace there just to make sure that those wheel nuts don't turn anymore. So you can see they are fully tightened and torqued up. Now I just have to press the button again. And what I'll start doing is you won't see it. It's just off camera, but I'm giving that tire a bit of a twist. And you'll see once it becomes fully up in the air, I'll be able to rotate that tire. And there we go. The wheel is now up in the air and ready to be worked on. And you can see here, this is a quick demonstration to show that I can take the power cable out and leave the jack right where it is and it won't move. It's fantastic. So even pressing buttons, messing with the device, it doesn't do anything until I connect up some power again. There go the blinking lights. Switch it back onto jack mode and I'm able to let the car down again. It's really, really good. It doesn't really slow down much when it's lifting the car. So it's not a slow thing. It almost rises as if it wasn't lifting anything at all, actually. It doesn't sound like it's overstraining itself either. 
It's a really fantastic piece of kit. You can see the, the body continuing to come down here. And eventually, once the suspension takes the weight of the car, the jack itself will just come away from the bodywork by itself there. And I'll let that run down back to its home position. Still going. And there it is. Piece of cake. Now while I'm here, I might as well get some air in those tires, make sure that I've got enough air in them. Those gloves do make that plastic a bit slippery there. Pulling out the little hose there, you can see the flow rate is 35 litres a minute, and it will run a maximum of 150 PSI, or 10 bar. And attaching it to your wheel valve, honestly, is simplicity in itself. Just screw it into place. And you'll see here, the gauge gives me a readout of the pressure of the tire and I switch it into pump mode and off it goes. It's either pump on or pump off. There's nothing in between. It's simply on or off until I get it to the pressure that I want. And then I switch it off again. Unscrew the hose and you'll see here for tidying it away there are two little tabs that stick out of the side there that's to hold the hose in place. And there's a little channel at the back door there to allow you to use it without having the door wide open. It's a rubberized hose, which means it's very flexible, very easy to use. It's not stiff, it's easy to tuck away into the side of the unit. And then everything has its place in the storage box. Now after all this I am left asking one question and that is, who is this for? Personally I've never had any difficulties with getting my car up in the air, getting my wheels off. I have had some trouble with some sticky wheel nuts in the past. But this kit made that entire system, that entire operation simpler and easier for me. While I got this under the car and I was jacking it up I was able to get other bits and pieces ready. I was not putting in the effort of winding up a jack. Now, you may be in the situation where perhaps you're an elderly person, perhaps you have disabilities, you have a difficulty with your strength, you have any kind of trouble exerting that strength to jack a car up in the air and then get those wheel nuts off. These are power tools designed to assist you in doing that job. I genuinely find it incredibly useful for me because I like to take my car up in the air, get the wheels off for detailing purposes. If that is something that you want to do and you want to have a bit more time and, and just be a bit less tired because you're putting in all the effort, this takes a lot of the effort out of the situation. It is really, really worthwhile. If it's something you're interested in, I will leave a link down in the description below to the Vivor website to this particular product. There is also a code, it's available down there, but just in case I've got it here, it's VVSALE5. If you use that, you'll get 5% off anything on the website. If this is the, not the type that you need, if you need something else, they very possibly have it on their website. Use that code, get yourself a little bit of a discount, a little bit of a thank you there. Thank you very much to Vivor for sending this across to me. Thank you very much to you people at home for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and while you're there, make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video uploads. In the meantime though, my name is Specky. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next video.